the best bags from Paris Fashion Week Fall 24. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things left us to offer. Welcome to our video listing the best bags from Paris Fashion Week Fall 24. Paris Fashion Week has come to an end, so it is time to see the most amazing bags from the new collections. From some old-time classics at Chanel to some new and trendy designs at Valentino, the fall-winter 24 bags are worth taking a look at. So without further ado, here are the best bags from Paris Fashion Week Fall 24. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and check out my new website, luxfy.com. Dior For her Fall 24 collection, designer Maria Grazia Curie was obviously inspired by Miss Dior. She took a Christian Dior archival logo, a piece of hand-drawn advertising artwork made for the launch of the Miss Dior boutique in 1967 and printed it in bags, coats and dresses. The Miss Dior boutique was the first store of the house that sold ready-to-wear clothes, designed by Mark Bohan, and you can see how Cutie brought that into everyday clothes for 2024. You can also see the 60s and 70s inspiration of the collection, in the mini skirts, matching sets and turtlenecks. Boxy silhouettes and long coats also represent the Miss Dior theme. As a whole, the collection was sober, practical and wearable, but I have to say I am not a big fan of the Miss Dior prints. As for the bags, we saw many classics alongside some new launches. The bag that best represents the collection as a whole is this new Miss Dior flat bag. It was shown in many different prints, fabrics and colors. Other new bags, like a bucket, a pouch and another flat bag, were also presented. The Dior Toujours bag was shown in embossed leather and with golden handles, showing how it could be the perfect fall tote. The Lady Dior bag appeared in the classic iteration, but also as the Lady D Joy and in embossed leather, breathing new life into this Dior icon. Overall, I believe this was a commercial collection that is bound to sell well, nothing too exciting, but still a fine Dior collection. Chloé Chloé is back. The debut collection of creative director Kemena Kamali brought back the playful hobo spirit of Chloé. She called the collection intuition. It was about what looks and feels right to women. She was also inspired by the collection's choreographer design for the brand in the late 1970s. Full of playful accessories, ruffled dresses, movement and fluidity, and of course the nostalgia of the 70s. As for the bags, they wore fun statement pieces that scream boho chic. Bracelet bags were showed in bright colors with golden details. A bigger version of those bags in the form of hobos and banana bags also made the rounds. So messenger bags combined practicality with a 70s hobo spirit, which is what this whole collection was about. This is a collection made by women for women. I am happy to see Kemena Kamali bringing Chloe back to its origins, as a hobo chic icon, and as an antidote to the monotony we have been seeing in recent collections. Loewe For his Fall 24 collection, designer Jonathan Anderson was inspired by art from Albert York's oil paintings of nature to a porcelain bundle of asparagus from the 1700s. You could see York's work throughout the collection, from nature landscapes to flower and dog prints. Of course, Anderson's usual play on proportions was present in the collection, in the form of oversized belts, long coats and big shoulders. As for the bags, the designer took the collection motifs and printed them into some classic bags of the house. 
the flamenco clutch was showed in beautiful colors and in croc embossed leather, bringing new life into the daytime clutch trend. The Loewe Squeeze, the new icon of the house, was presented in many prints with the collection motifs, like flowers, dogs and birds. The puzzle photo also made the rounds in an elegant croc embossed letter. When most collections are inspired by house archives, Jonathan Anderson brings a unique and fun collection inspired by art. It might not be everyone's cup of tea, but this was an innovative collection that stands apart from the rest. Hermes The Hermes Fall 24 collection was inspired by horses and motorbikes, two riding sports, as creative director Nadege Vaness said. Riding boots and leggings were showed alongside biker jackets, but of course, nothing was too literal or too much. Overall, the collection was about investment leather outerwear with the elegance and timelessness we expect from Hermes. The iconic Birkin bag was presented in its classic iteration, but also in the fan favorite shoulder bag version that is back for Fall 24. A rounded flat bag was also showed in the beautiful colors of the collection, as was a squared flap with a metallic closure on the front. Belt bags and envelope clutches continued with the elegant and quiet theme of the collection. The Hermes Bolide bag also appeared, as did a big tote that was as practical as it was chic. Hermes is not reinventing the wheel, they are giving what their customers want, elegant timeless pieces made with that impeccable craftsmanship and quality they are known for. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Valentino Pier Paolo Piccioli's Fall 24 collection for Valentino was about reinterpreting classic coats of the house, like bows and ruffles, in a new feminist way. The entirely black collection was, according to the designer, anti-nostalgic. It was about looking forward, not backwards, and about feminine power. The collection was composed of sharp tailoring tool and lace dresses, embroideries over coats, fringes and feathers. Like the previous collections, these are clothes for women to show their bodies in whatever way they like. Not men or politicians should dictate on our bodies. To show our bodies or not is entirely up to us. That is Valentino's message. As for the bags, they were all black, but were anything but basic. A flat bag with a chain strap was the standout piece of the collection, showed in velvet, smooth leather with embroideries and patent leather. The Valentino Loco bag was also present in beautiful embellished versions. The Vilogo Moon bag is back for another season, in this all-black version. Some tote bags, top handles and pouches made the rounds, all beautiful statement pieces. As always, Valentino is one of my favorite shows of the season. Flawless, timeless pieces that are not too understated or too over the top, made with beautiful techniques and paired with some amazing bags. Chanel For her Fall 24 collection, designer Virginie Piard was inspired by Delville, Coco Chanel's first fashion boutique and favorite seaside destination. You could see the inspiration in the colors reminiscent of the Delville sky, in the big hats and in the outerwear. It looks like what the Chanel woman would wear in Delville in the winter time. Of course, there were a lot of tweed dresses matching sets and coats, but there were also leather, denim and silk pieces. As for the bags, the classic flap continues to be an icon of the brand. It was showed in beautiful colors, some embroidered and embellished, and in different sizes, all classics of the brand. There were also camera bags, boxy top handles, and envelope bags, all with distinct Chanel codes. 
a pouch that hanged from a chain, was showed multiple times as an easy grab-and-go alternative to classic handbags. Of course, the iconic Chanel Del Vieux tote was presented, this time in a wintry version in leather and shirley. Overall, there isn't much I can say about this collection. Nothing too exciting, nothing too new, but it is still Chanel, so of course there are some beautiful pieces with classic house motifs. Miu Miu Prep style continues to be a theme for Miucha Prada and the Miu Miu Fall 24 collection. But it was more than that, it was a mixture of late 60s fashion with some collegiate looks and other classic ladylike outfits. Miucha said she wakes up every morning and decides if she's going to be a 15-year-old girl or an old lady, and I guess with this collection you can be both. From long overcoats to mini dresses and full skirts, this was a wearable and fun collection that is likely to be super popular next fall. As for the bags, there were some oversized, belted bowling bags that fit perfectly with the vintage aspect of the collection. The current Miu Miu It bag, the Arcadia, was showed in both large and small versions, in different colors and letters. Bucket bags also made the rounds, as well as some ladylike drawstring purses. As the last Miu Miu collections, this one is bound to be super popular once it hits the stores. This is a fun collection of wearable pieces that have a distinctive Miu Miu style we all know and love. Louis Vuitton for the 10th anniversary of Nicolas Gisquier at Louis Vuitton, he took a look at what he did so far and paid homage to the trunk-making legacy of the brand. The designer printed trunk motifs on dresses and bags that were fun but also very characteristic of Louis Vuitton. From sporty pieces to metallic dresses and feather skirts, this was a collection about the past 10 years that didn't look nostalgic. Gasquier manages to talk about the past while designing for the future, all with his sci-fi style, of course. The standout bag of the collection was the Petit Mall, the first bag the creative director designed for the brand 10 years ago. It was showed in different prints, colors, and materials. The side trunk, the latest iteration of the Petit Mall, was also showed in many different versions. The Alma was also present in the collection. The classic bag had trunk prints and also different colors. There was a new understated bowling bag that looks very similar to the Loewe Amazona that didn't follow the trunk theme of the collection. Of course, there were many bags made with a trunk construction in different shapes that showed the expertise of Louis Vuitton in trunk making. Overall, it was a collection very characteristic of Nicolas Gasquier, similar to past collections, but as always, bringing some newness to it. Why fix what it isn't broken? Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And make sure to check out my video about the biggest handbag trends for Spring 24. Thank you for spending some time with us, and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, I'll provide you with the best content about fashion, travel, and luxury living. See you soon!